back at Barn Elms for some more coaching for today. So I'll take you through some of the sessions again. A number of athletes turned up on this particular day across a number of sessions. However, I tended to do similar work with all of them. After a warm-up, often we'll start the session with some hold-in-place postural awareness drills and you'll have seen many of these in other videos but it's important to continue to keep doing them throughout the training year. This is Karim who's a para-athlete and he actually won the World Junior Long Jump Championships two years back with 6 meters 70 and it's important for him to get that coordination and that balance and the postural correctness. After what I call the standing sprint drills, we went into some takeoff variations, which again are more or less in place. Being able to swing the hip powerfully is crucial for jumping and sprinting, and this is what this drill in particular does develop, as well as, of course, overall awareness of the takeoff. We then transferred to some moving forwards drills with the emphasis on the swing leg. So he's generating his forward and upward momentum from swinging the free thigh away and up. To me, the swing leg is equally important as the takeoff leg when it comes to getting that optimum takeoff. We then moved on to some more sprint drills and we're working specifically here on Karim's arm action and then onto his drive, his pushing back from the hip. Breaking the movement down like this enabled him to feel what was required. You'll be able to see how well it transferred into an actual moving forwards Push drill. Down. So he's pushing his thighs backwards quickly underneath his hips as he moves forwards. We then transferred to some more takeoff drills where we're trying to coordinate the bringing of the foot down to the track surface whilst driving the thigh upwards. After these, it was on to some skips with the free leg movement again, and you can see the action is becoming very smooth and directed with the thigh stopping parallel to the ground. That's it, keep swinging away from you. I'll often shout out instructions from what I see when the athlete's doing a particular drill. Hopefully it doesn't put them off. Karim is gradually getting to grips with this drill where he has to land on his free leg as he takes off but he's not holding the drive off of the takeoff enough through his right leg. About a year ago he had difficulty coordinating the movement, learning the movement so he's come a long way in order to be able to hit positions which are not too far off what's required as you can see there. More work and he'll get it. So after the running and jumping drills, it was on to some actual running and we did some progression build up runs, right, working through the various phases and holding the speed. And as with all things that seems to be happening to Karim this year, he's really improved with his sprinting technique as well. He's getting higher hips and getting his foot close to his knee as he revolves from back to front. Thanks must also go to coach Joe, who's also working with him. I like to do bend runs for long jump and triple jumpers of course. So you work off of a short distance from the bend and then come off of it for about 15 metres trying to work on the attack phase as you would when you're coming into the board. The bend will throw you off and generate greater speed if you do it properly. Kick your left foot forward to go forward. At the end of the session, we did some hopping and double footed jumps where the objective was to keep the knee relatively stiff so that there was less bending at the knee joint. So, with the bunny jumps, he had to get off the ground as quickly as he could. Next up, it was Ignatius and Sarah, and you just heard some kids say, How does he jump so high? Well, it's from doing a variation of angles of takeoff and of course doing the right conditioning. So in this session we experimented with takeoffs at different angles, so not just at the comfortable one, but also trying to get more height. And this proved quite interesting. So here you can see Sarah deliberately aiming higher on each of her takeoffs. Ignatius was trying the same here and couldn't quite coordinate it off of his not dominant leg. He was opening out a little bit too more, but he'll get it. After the height reps, we went for more speed reps with the 
angle of takeoff slightly shallower and then we went on to our swing leg drill as well so take off pull the free leg back and lift the rear arm up overhead as you would do if you were doing a hitch or hitch hang and then as it was with Karim we went on to some runs and they did some different types over about 50 meters continuous accelerations and then fast slightly slower and fast and then bursts where they need to turn their legs over as quickly as they can the last athlete I'll quickly focus on is Ruby who's an under 17 jumper with a best of 578 if I recall and it was her first session back on the track it didn't look like she'd lost much in fact she seemed to have gained quite a bit from I guess following the lockdown workouts that they'd all been doing as with Karim Ruby's sprinting has really improved over the last year or so her rear back lift heel recovery used to be very low and now it's lifting up. One thing I will say is that the rear arm perhaps goes too high behind, so we may slightly tweak that. Rather aptly, on the day I was wearing my triple jump t-shirt and thus I wanted to speak to you about the standing virtual triple jump competition that we've been running recently. There's been some really great outstanding entries and you've still got until June the 30th to enter you can enter one jump a week. So do look out for details of that on my channel and on the screen and below this video and get your jumps in. As usual, thanks for watching and good luck with your training. And do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. And of course, stay safe.